Hello friends, today we will look into item 3 of Effective Java which is regarding enforcing the singleton property either by using a private constructor or an enum type. Before going into the details, what is singleton? A singleton is simply a class that is instantiated only once. Whenever we require a unique instance, we go for enforcing the singleton property for a class. So how to achieve this? Broadly speaking, there are two ways. Before release 1.5, uh, we had the first approach that is by introducing a public static member. So in this approach, there are uh, two ways in which we can achieve this, either by introducing a public member as a final field or a static factory public member. Let's look into the first approach, which is by introducing a public member as a final field let's see an example in this we have a class singleton with public final field wherein i am creating a, a public final field uh, instance and we have a private constructor this is very important so we have to have a private constructor to enforce the singleton property this ensures that the clients of this class cannot instantiate the instance of this by using constructor. So this is how we can uh, access the singleton instance of this class and we are printing the object here as you can see. So this is one of the approach. So advantage of this is this is very simple. This almost achieves the purpose, but there are some disadvantages. So one of the disadvantages, a privileged user can access this private constructor directly to create an instance by using the Java reflection. Let's see. As you can see here in the, in the Java reflection, we have set accessible on the constructor. Here we can say that I want to access all the constructors. And using the class dot for name, I can create an instance. So here we are creating an instance by directly accessing this private constructor. So if I run this, I should have a different object references here. As you can see, th these two are different two different object references so in effect this breaks our intention of creating a singleton instance so how to avoid this here we can put a check in the private constructor that if instance is already created if you are trying to create another instance through an exception so this will avoid creating another instance this is how we can achieve the singleton property with the public final and static field here. Let's look into the second approach which is by having a public static factory method. So in this uh, we have a field the public static uh, field wherein we have already created an instance but which is private and try to access it through a public static factory method so there is a detailed discussion about the static factory methods in the item one you can refer that so here we are returning that instance which we are the private uh, static final field through this method so how to access the or how to create the singleton here so i am i will be just accessing the public uh, static factory method here get instance and this method is just for the sake of this example testing purpose so we're in uh, instance method i'm trying to call this method if you run this this method is getting called so this approach is little complicated compared to the earlier one 
but it is almost similar the advantage of this approach is we are accessing a singleton instance by using this static factor method so suppose tomorrow i want to change this approach and i no more want singleton but i want to create new instance every time then i can change only this method to create a new instance every time the clients of this class this is the client they need not undergo any change so that is the advantage but although this advantage is not so much relevant with respect to the singleton classes so we need a and another thing is uh, the same disadvantage which we discussed about the privileged user which you can access the private constructor still exists here so we have to take care about the serialization whenever we serialize a singleton class so we have to have the same instance when we deserialize it so for that we need to take care extra precautions let's see an example for that so here i have a class singleton with serializable so which implements serializable so here i have uh, an example method just for the sake of this program so as you can see uh, so here i am trying to write an object so i access the singleton instance and trying to write an object to the file one so this is fine so now when i try to access i mean deserialize it then i should get the same instance which i have written let's see i will just comment out the code which is not needed for now and as you can see here before serialization the object reference was ending with e922 and after deserialization we have this one 777 so that means uh, uh, the two object references are different so that is not what we expected we want the same object reference how to achieve that for that we have an private method read resolve so we have to introduce method private read resolve so by introducing this method and in, in this method we can return the instance singleton instance for which reference we already have so this will ensure the singleton object reference is returned after deserialization let's see see as you can see the before serialization and after deserialization we have the same object reference although this looks like a magic but uh, this is not actually a magic so in the object input stream we are accessing the read resolve method through reflection so in the object input stream what uh, they will do is uh, they will check uh, whether the object to be deserialized has a read resolve method or not if it exists it will call this just before returning a deserialized object since here we are overriding the object to be returned the same object the instance object will be returned this is how serialization safety can be enforced with the singleton objects as you can see we have to take care so many things with these approaches so these approaches were the only options before release 1.5 
So with the release of 1.5, we have a better approach to single term, which is by using the enums. Let's see. So this is very simple approach wherein we have to create an enum and a field instance. So this instance field uh, will be in a singleton uh, instance reference. So how to use this? So just enum and uh, call the instance and you can access any member methods. So the member method is called. This is very simple approach and uh, very uh, we need not worry about uh, the serialization complexity we need not worry about the privileged user accessing the private constructor so this is what so we need to worry about this so this is the secure way of creating a singleton instance So Joshua recommends to use this approach although this approach is not used in many of the projects right now but uh, Joshua recommends to use this enum approach to creating a singleton instance as it is very simple and secure. I think that's it uh, for this item. Uh, thank you friends. We will uh, look in the we will see you in the next item.